Hey, how you doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we're going to be talking about the engine, or and another thing, the heads. So, <clears throat> have you ever heard, hey, your head gasket's messed up, or you have a warped head? I'm going to show you here how to identify how a warped head is actually warped, and um, this is uh, probably for the more advanced uh uh, viewers out there, so if you uh, have taken off a head and um, never really tested it out, or you just take it to a machine shop and you don't know what they're doing or what's going on, this video is for you right here. So uh, we're going to show you uh, how to how to check the warpage on the head and what tools you need, and uh, we'll start off from there. So here we go. So first of all, you need your head. This is a head upside up and head down. So you need, first of all, a straight edge. Uh, for the longest time, I was using one of those carpenter ones, but yeah, that's not good. <laughs> just, just get you a straight edge. Uh, forgot how big this one was. It's 24 inches. I did buy a 12 inch one, but um, it, it just didn't cover the whole area. So uh, there you go. And on top of that, one of the tools that almost every mechanic needs a feeler gauge so with this you're gonna basically see if there's any warpage so if you have a head that's not warped um, you know you don't the thing is that you don't want to take it to the machine shop and what happens if it's just a head gasket and your head's not warped uh, Regardless, I still recommend getting getting your head uh, resurfaced. But here's a test that you can do. It's quite simple. So what you do first of all, clean off the the top of the head. Um, I cleaned it off pretty good. Make sure that the surface was nice and good. It didn't have any bumps or or anything. And then you get your straight edge and just put it flat on there. Just flat on there, you see, it is flat. As you can see with the camera, you don't see anything. It looks good. But what you do, you get your straight edge, and I got 15 thousandths. Uh, and then you start I'm poking it from the back. I don't know you can see right there, you see it doesn't go through. Okay, but I'm going to show you on this other side. So... Nothing. Look at that. Look at that. And then back to the edge. Nothing. So we're just going to see what the warpage is. I'm just going to go up on the sizes. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay you down right here while I try to get this. Sorry, this filler gauge is all used up. Hey! I'm actually making a YouTube video right now. Yeah. There's my buddy, David. I'll lay down on the uh, so, very offensive things. Let's I'm just going to get another one, 25,000. And that barely, barely even goes through. So, we'll probably have a warpage of 25,000 on this one. Ain't kind of bad. I was about to say ain't that bad. But, there you go. So, if you do have an issue with a uh, warped head... Um, Get you a straight edge. These are kind of expensive, 60, 70 bucks, and uh, filler gauge, and that should be it. And after that, take it to your machine shop. Respect the machine shop. Get your whole head uh, job. Should be around two, three hundred bucks, depending on where you go to. And uh, make sure that you get uh, the heads air pressured as well, and make sure that there's no cracks inside and all that good stuff, because you don't want to do a head job and then. Guess what? You put it back on and it still has the same issue. But if you do like, please sub uh, subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff, and share. And if you have anything bad with a thumbs down, please let me know why. You know, I always want to know about that good little stuff. 
But you have a, a good day. Bye.